I didn't do it. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Prowl. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Prowl looking all prowly with his siren shot. His name is Prowl Transformers. On this side of the box, we have Prowl. On this side of the box, we have our Autobots. Good guys, he is a deluxe class, a class, deluxe, deluxe class, and a class, and a oh, up top, Cyberverse Adventures, Bumblebee, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes, on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and all you need to know about Prowl is he is a military strategist, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Prowl, the last of our new Cyberverse Deluxes, and here he is in his vehicle mode. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. I love the metallic blue they used on this figure. Looks quite nice. Goes down the side as well. You see the headlights there, picked out. It's some nice paint. Autobot symbol right there on the hood. And again, you got that metallic blue. Police! And you got the nice trans clearance. Blue windshields and windows. You got the light bar up top. You got the back wheels, you got the butts, and the taillights are picked out in red. Yes, you have the clips there, but you know, I always, me personally, here's what I do. I pop the wheels off, I paint the clip, and problem solved. So, you know, just find a way to camouflage it. But you got the tailpipes back there, and there is the top. There is the bottom, visible. Here's the room. Hi, how you doing? He's right there. He's right there, just staring at you. You can roll, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Deluxe Prime. With Deluxe Hot Rod. With Deluxe Bumblebee. With Deluxe RC. Just because, with uh, Grimlock. And here he is with the Warrior Class Prowl. See how uh, these two shape up. And then we'll give you the turn around here. So you can see what's going on. See what's what. So yeah. There you go. Now as far as accessories go, he does include his gun, which you can see is very, very G1-y. Looks quite good, and of course there is storage for it in the vehicle mode. You got a port right up top, and it's just a typical, hey, plug the weapon on the top of the car. Hey, it's storage. If you need storage, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And you also get a pair of effects parts here, just done in yellow. And what you can do here is you can plug these onto the uh, exhaust pipes. Plug one there, plug one there, there you go. He look like he's blushing, he look like he's blushing. Blushing his way to justice. Okay. All things you can do if you want to know it. So yeah, that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> Ooh. So first let's remove the weapons, let's remove the effects parts, this one really looks like it's just key, by the way, but anyway. <laughs> Once we have done that, we can commence with the transformation. So first thing you want to do is just open up the doors here. Just bring them all the way out. Open up the door, like so. Come down here, you want to open up these black panels. Like that. And once you've done that, we can just kind of crack them down the middle and unfold his legs. Now you just want to flip out his feet. You get these little sections here that will just flip out and flip out. Once you do that, you can close these panels back up, split his legs, and there you basically have the lower body all done. So now we move on to the upper body. 
You just want to take all of this and just bring it back. You got multiple hinges here to work with. So I'm just going to bring all of this back like so. And you're going to take his arms, bring it up, bring it out, bring it up, bring it out, and then just rotate them. Rotate. Uh, you want to take this little section here with his shoulder cannons and just bring that up. You want to leave them facing back for now. You want to come here to the hood and you just want to push this section of it in like that. And once you've done that, we're going to bring all of this in. Now there's a tab right here that will go into a slot right here in this section of the hood. So you just get everything lined up so that sits where it should, just like that. And then you can bring all of this up. You can see how all that is aligned. And now we can take all this and bring it down. That will snap into place. And then we can bring his shoulder cannons forward, bring his arms down. And if you want, you can angle these back. I always do. And there you go. There you have a Prowl in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good. I mean, he's a he's a big chested boy. He's a wide chested boy. He doesn't he doesn't skip chest day. That's all. He doesn't he, he does not skip chest day. But let's get in close here. Not all that big old chest, but on that noggin. That's a noggin. And it's an okay head sculpt. Um, not the best prowl head sculpt I've ever seen, but it's all right. Yeah, right there for the head crest. His eyes are painted blue. Face is painted as well. Not too bad, but you know, not the best prowl head sculpt I've ever seen. Um, I love how these badges on his shoulders are actually molded in and painted in gold. I think that looks really good, personally. Also that detailing there on the sides of his biceps there, which is quite cool as well. You can see. Not too much detailing wise, it's pretty simple, but looks pretty good. His big old feet right there. I like how the feet transform. I think that's a little clever trick right there. Yeah, moving up the back. Pretty good. You know, the typical prowl backpack going on there. Not too bad. You know, the forearms are hollow, but all in all, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head can rotate. You can do a full 360. Uh, shoulder cannons, you know, they can kind of bring them, you know, up and down a little bit. This is as far down as they go. Uh, the arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation. Legs can go forward, only that far back, that far outward. I'll use a little square pieces will move out of the way. Outward, you can only get out that far. You have thigh rotation, um, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. As far as the feet, they can move up a bit, they can move down a lot, and you have your ankle tiltage. And of course we can give him his gun here. Of course, if you want to, you can you know, plug it onto his back for storage, but we'll give him his weapon. It's quite snug on my copy. There you go. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, and all of that good stuff. And of course, we can bring in the effects parts. You can use whatever one you want. On his gun there. Get some pew pewing and bang banging going, or you can plug them into his shoulder weapons there. Have that going on also. They only shoot in one direction, but hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? But of course, these are also Blush compatible. That's right, they're Blush compatible. He also has a Blush point on his forearm for some reason, just randomly there. I think somebody from uh, from Siege and Earthrise was working on this figure and was like, ah, just put a random one on his forearm. Why not? Why not? <laughs> You know what we can do here. You know, I know, we all know what we can do here. We can plug one there. We can plug one onto his shoulder cannons, like so. And we can do a big old triple. Bloosh! That's right, that's a lot of blushing. That's a lot of blushing. Maybe too much. 
Maybe too much. That's not true. There's no such thing as too much blushing. But there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Megatron and Soundwave. With Screamer and Shockwave. With Prime and Bumblebee. With RC and Hot Rod. With Grimlock and Thunder Howl. With McAdam and Rack and Ruin. And last but not least, here he is with the Warrior Class Prowl. You can see how this works out. Now, personally, I think the Warrior Class version has the better head sculpt. But all in all, though, I think the Deluxe is uh, a definite improvement. But I'll give you the turnaround here. You can see what's going on from all angles. So, there you go. So there you have Prowl, and yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, the vehicle mode looks good, the robot mode looks good. My only real complaint is the head sculpt. Could have been better. The head sculpt isn't great, but that's really my only uh, my only nitpick with the figure. Um, otherwise, you know, it's a fun figure. Looks good, and uh, is definitely a nice addition to this uh, Cyberverse Deluxe line, as far as I'm concerned. So. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Cyberverse figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Cyberverse playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Prowl. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Home in your face. Hey, Prowl, I, um, I have a very small request for you, if you will. Uh, yeah, sure, Prime, what is it? Um, I would appreciate it very much if you, uh, stopped flipping tables. What, what, what are you implying? Oh, no, 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 not, not implying anything, just, uh, just be nice if you, uh, maybe stop doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I, 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 I can do that. I, I can do that, that's not a problem. Not, not a, not a problem at all. For the record, that wasn't a table. Yeah, yeah, right. Baby steps, baby steps.